welcome to this month's episode of The Crimi Talk. Today we're just going to go back and uh, take some basic steps and just explain what is criminology because we've put some videos out, we've spoke to people and some people um, and don't get it. Um, so we'll just deal with the basic ideological, basic found, founding facts should I say. Um, and then hopefully, obviously whatever you pick up from this, you can obviously go out and have a look into for yourself um, if you want to expand it further. Um, do you want to start off with any definitions, Nosh? Sorry, we've got Nosh in today. <laughs> Hi guys. Um, well, from my understanding, I think criminology is basically a depth understanding of crime, how crime takes place, the reasons behind it, not just focus on crime but you have to think of the science behind it, the sociology, psychology of criminals and how crime affects us on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Because they do say uh, it is an interdisciplinary field um, from our own, well, our own, well I can speak for myself um, and I believe for you as well, our own personal understanding of what criminology is and how we've looked at it it's more than, as you say, it's more than just looking at crime. There are psychological aspects, sociological aspects, economic aspects of it. So many different aspects of criminal, um, of understanding crime, and obviously that's all put together and crammed in. And then there we go. We've got yeah. criminology. When what, when you speak to people, criminology, they just think, oh, crime, the study of crime, yeah. research behind crime. I have but some they don't say law. Some people think, I've said to some people, oh, I've studied criminology, and I've had people turn around and say, oh, so you're a lawyer? Yeah. No, yeah. I don't do But law. they don't understand that it's not just crime. Yes, crime has a big factor in mm -hmm. criminology, but there's so many other things. There, There is part of law. There is part of yeah. law that is part of criminology, but that that's doesn't mean the, we are lawyers. Yeah, that's not the sole thing. Yeah. Um, according to Google, a very short and simplistic definition of criminology it says the scientific study of crime and criminals as we know um, there's so much more to it that we obviously are happy to share with everybody um, and we found the we found the definition of the legal dictionary um, which was a lot more in depth um, and it basically referred to what we've explained that cr um, criminology is the study of uh, multiple factors in that impact and help to understand crime. And um, we can put, we will have that definition put on the website. So if obviously you want to look into that properly, you can take a look. Um, just briefly, this is a really short episode today, um, or should I say this month? But briefly, I just wanted to ask you personally how. Has criminology assisted with your work personally? Because you know, do you want to give us a background of um, what kind of things you re you generally research, your um, kind of your theoretical background, um, and how criminology as a field has actually assisted? I have volunteered for Crime Stoppers for over three years, and we deal with crimes in the Asian community. Mm -hmm. So we've just recently launched aspects of the project. But criminology has played a huge, he has had a huge um, effect on us simply because we can now understand that when someone is a victim of a crime, it's not just the victim and the offender who are involved, it's a bigger deal. It just doesn't affect just a certain amount of people, it's a bigger problem for the community. It, you need to understand that yes the victim suffers a lot from the crime yes the offender has some reason why they uh, commit the crime but we need to also understand the reasons behind it the yeah. social reasons the psychological reasons and is that the what behavior is and that's, yes simply because when you go in and do a project on one crime you need to understand how that crime came about where is the origins of that crime because a lot of these crimes that we are dealing with in this project, they're cri cultural crimes yeah, I was gonna that, ask, that come was... from different countries that, yes, they might have had a, a little bit of background from Britain itself or from the Western culture, but most of these crimes, they're Middle Eastern cultures or they're the, um, 
they're, they're from the African culture. So it's when people come over from different countries that their way of thinking, and it's always you always have to think of the norms of society. In one society, something will be acceptable because for them, what they do is acceptable. But when they come over to a different country, the the culture changes. Yeah. There's changes in rules Shifting and regulations, and but they yeah. don't realize that it's wrong here. Yeah. It's illegal here. What they think is it's because it's their way of do life. Do you think that with that, obviously, they've moved over, say hypothetically speaking, I've moved from the Middle East and I've come to England and half of the, the cultural practices I have are wrong here. Do you think that people, so it's people from the Middle East would assume that this country is defying them? And yes, they, they, there's a sense that's, of that's one of the big issues we face, simply because when you tackle crimes, that and cultural crimes, something that's not consider normal for you mm -hmm. and consider normal for someone else there's a problem because they'll think that the western culture is attacking them With that and then and then it makes it even harder for us to tackle any crimes because they will do anything to keep their origins yeah With and that being said do you think that criminology can be used on a day to day just yes. up, every day yes um, if you give people a better understanding of criminology and a better understanding of crimes then they will un they will un basically understand more. They will have more knowledge about what's going on around them. Some people you tell them the crimes taking place. Oh, it's a normal thing. There's crimes always been around. Or oh, why has it always been around? There's reasons, and there's always a change in what criminal activity is more prominent at a certain time. Yeah. Because as you read, it's like there's a shift. Um, there's trends. a shift. There's always a shift, like there's always new, like cybercrime, that wasn't a big deal 50 years ago, but, but the, it would be now because of the, the change. Yeah. Of social with FGM, technology, yeah. FGM wasn't heard of in the UK, but it's always existed though, that's, exactly. that's the difference, that's it's the, the recognition, the, and I think that's yeah. what criminology um, and other disciplinary in, uh, disciplines, but obviously we're focusing solely yeah. on criminology, have assisted. Um, lastly, on this touching on the subject of what is criminology, um, hopefully we've given you a bit bit of a better insight. If obviously you don't understand what it is, if you are from a criminological background and you do understand what it is, and you're obviously wanting to, you think you know me and Noshin haven't said enough. We can talk for England, but we are on, <laughs> we are on like we are on time, um, so we have to take that into consideration. But with obviously what we've just discussed. For the viewers, what advice would you give to someone choosing to study criminology, or someone that is studying criminology? You know, what what experience your experience? What would you what advice would you give to them? Um, I'm not quite sure what advice would give them. Um, I just think that criminology has had a huge impact personally on my life, mm -hmm. and I, the reason why I studied it is because I was interested in it. I wanted to gain a career from it as well but simply because it, I've always had an interest in the criminal side of things and not just like I've always wanted to study crime yeah. but then when I realized when I did because obviously when I first did my undergrad degree I always thought criminology was a study of the crime mm -hmm. but after studying it I've realized it's not That's just crime there's more to it so my advice would simply be enjoy it because it is a really good topic to study and a really good topic to help you understand just day-to-day -day life. Yeah. That's the best advice I think anybody could <laughs> give, to be fair. Um, my advice is not much different. Uh, my story is different. My experience in understanding criminology is different. Um, obviously, I have a look at uh, my criminological background is having a look at how sociological sociological factors within society impact criminal, uh, certain forms of crime, um, usually look at violent crime and the advice I would probably give to somebody is the same, enjoy it, do something that you enjoy, have yeah. a reason, have a passion, have a why, um, you know, and I think all criminologists out there study things because they've got a passion for it, 
um, and because they enjoy it and they want to see change. I personally want to see change in certain communities yeah. and see lower rates of violent crime. Unfortunately, I can't change the world, but hopefully my research will be able to assist further. So if obviously you're a criminologist and you enjoy criminology, you love criminology, <laughs> um, and this is the field, um, or you don't necessarily understand it, do get in touch with us um, and share your story, share your why. Um, that's the end of this month's episode and we'll have everything on the website for you. Obviously it'll be there by now. Um, and if obviously you want to drop us a question, I'll put down our social media accounts and everything that you need to get in touch with us by. Thanks for watching us this month. Thank you, bye. <laughs>